Yeah. Oh, 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 this is too good. Now, after all that trouble we had with the torpedoes, this is really nice. So, so those 14 point, yeah. Three kilometers, that's like the juicy spot. Hello guys, this is Low Tech Gaming. So we're back with uh, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Yes, okay, so, um, let's see. Uh, so, we have this awesome challenge where we have these, let's see, uh, the enemy, I, I, so I'm guessing we have pre-dreadnoughts, but they have dreadnoughts and we need to beat them, and I'm like, this isn't gonna go well. Like, we can either get more money to get more dreadnoughts, or we can go ahead and get more technology. Okay, so they have 10 inches of max armor, and they have a 21 kill. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and boost the technology. We just need to have something that can be 10 inches worth of um, armor. Easy enough. We have... Uh, actually, these aren't a bad design. These are a bad design. Actually, these are both bad designs. Why would anyone make this? I mean, I guess these are much cheaper. So you can buy... 15 of these if you're feeling lucky. I'm just like this All right, let's see I do because it's like we're gonna have to rely heavily on Numbers in order to win this we can't win this on just overpowering the enemy sadly um, What speed do I want for these guys? Um, I feel like 22 is fine if we can just keep that up um, That's what I thought um Let's go with the... Because the duel takes up less space. I'm like thinking if I just get like... Can I fit up here? Let me increase the... Displacement just a bit. Please? No? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe the extra large funnel might fit there. Yeah, there we go. So, uh... Yeah, I feel like that should be fine. 69. That's, that's alright. Um, let's see. I mean, they're dreadnoughts, so it's like, I don't need really secondaries, I just need... And then they have 10, um, so I at least want like 14 inch cannons, I guess. Actually, let me, let me take a look at these again. Because, like, we're going to be firing at like 5, at least like 5 kilometers probably, so... I might just go with the 14 inch... Yeah, I'll just go with the 14 inches. I'll just put two... Two triple bills. Now you're going to worry about the secondary battery. It's not going to really do much. And we, it's not like we can really even put secondary guns anywhere on this guy. Yeah. Like, we could probably put a bunch of casemates, but those aren't going to help us out at all. Uh, decrease the range. Um... Oh, here comes the... Oh, fudge. Uh, better. Kind of. Um, no. I kind of just want to steamroll him with a bunch of these. No, don't do this to me. No, I'll just go ahead and reduce the speed. Okay, there we go. Um, no range finders whatsoever. Um, that's... I, I don't like it when that happens. Uh, let's see. Heavy... Um, because these are supposed to be expendable, but they're just supposed to try to, supposed to try and get as much firepower down range as possible, so I should have a total of, what, 3 times 2, 6, 6 times 5, 30, 14 inch guns bearing down on these two guys. That should be enough. Multiple bulkheads, let's do this. This should go well, I say before all my videos. Uh, let's see how this goes. See what I have you two target this one, and then I have you three target this one over here, and just use HE. Because I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to penetrate it from this distance. What designs do they have? Oh shit! All right. 
This gun's just slowly turning towards us. Alright, we got get the first shots out. The idea is to at least like disable most of the range finders or so before they can return fire. That's at least the idea. Ah, first blood. Nice, alright. Hopefully they don't ammo at my first ship. That would be unfortunate. I don't feel that... Because I feel that shells are moving too slow in just normal speed, I feel. Like, I feel like two times speed is probably more realistic, kind of. Just in terms of actual speeds for the shells. That's what I'm feeling at least. Yeah, because like I feel the shells wouldn't move at least this fast. Have I identification? Not yet. We're still waiting on that. Just keep firing. We'll be fine. Okay. Haven't lost a ship yet. <laughs> Getting awfully close. Also, been fractured, but did not. Okay, I actually think we might be able to switch to H A P for this now. No, because of the fact that if we're getting partial penetrations with H E, then most likely an armored penetration shell would go right through. Still waiting for the identification. Uh, let's see. 3%? Really? They have terrible range finders. They're the same guns that we have. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Do you guys not get any range finders or anything? Because my ships have already adjusted to just targeting this one ship over here. So just bludgeon him to death and then bludgeon the, the next one to death, I suppose. Really? We're just barely not getting through. They must have a... They don't really have more armor than we do. So it's it's weird that we're just not able to kill him. Because we're doing a lot of damage, it's just that we're not we're not getting through. Most of our shells aren't even like over penetrations so they're just not they're just fracturing the armor. But we are getting a lot of hits in. Just worry that he's just gonna overpen and just kill one of my battleships. Which is fine at this point, I guess, because it seems that he's. His accuracy is really bad. I don't know why. Maybe it's the speed of my ships because I'm going 21. Well, I mean. The ships aren't going so fast, but it's just like, I guess he's having a hard time targeting me. For some reason. He only has like one percent chance of it anyway. And I don't like it when my ships just change. Okay, so we're getting some penetration hits now. Um, let's see. We're at yeah, we're at five kilometers or so. All guns should be able to penetrate him quite easily now. Yes. All these partial penetrations. There we go, that penetrated. Yeah, his ship is almost down. It's not even moving, so we're going to have even a better chance of hitting him now. Alright, let's finish him off. Because it just comes down to the fact that I just have more guns than he does. More big guns. Oh shoot, you're getting way out there and you're getting too far away. Got his main gun. <coughs> I just want to finish him off first, but I'm f worried about this guy. Uh, 
Might have to change targets shortly. Yeah, we're gonna have to change target because he's getting too close. It's gonna take a while for us to get a correct firing solution on this guy. Yeah, he's way, he's in way too close. He's gonna get penetrated all the way. Yeah, we just completely gutted his his boilers. Yeah. Oh, 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 this is too good. Now, after all that trouble we had with the torpedoes, this is really nice. So, so those fourteen point, yeah. Three kilometers, that's like the juicy spot. Got got his main gun. Only has two of those left. All his towers are gone. I don't remember what time my ships to turn around, but who care. That's enough bulkers to prevent an arm. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, this was way too easy. No, because just rapidly using so many 14, uh, 14 inch cannons. Plus, I, I think the AI is also losing a bunch of money and uh, weight on trying to increase the range of its, its ships. Because I know for a fact that we don't need that much range since we're not playing the campaign, but the AI is probably not optimizing themselves completely for these challenges because of it. It's just a bad day to be on the Santa Ana. winning this battle quite handily. 9%? Yeah, that's not going to cut it, buddy. Moss? Yeah, he, he's... This is... There we go. I don't like how it does that, so it, like, switches to, like, a, a sinking animation. If it could just sink from where it is, I feel like that would be better. Fun! And the video ends just as this one guy starts to cut his lawn, of course. Fun. All right. Well, I think we're in the episode there. I guess that actually went very well. We will continue. We'll go into a battle cruiser versus a dreadnought. That that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. As always, take care, and I'll catch you guys next time.